An update on breaking news. Crews responding to a gas leak just outside of the San Diego Zoo. That has prompted evacuations. Yeah, All we have we have two crews in two locations because the gas leak was affecting a wide area of Balboa mm -hmm. Park, shutting the park down. We start with 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala, who's outside the zoo. And Mimi, it's good to hear they're saying they have a handle on this gas leak now. They do, Virginia, Jared, but out of an abundance of caution, they have decided to close the zoo down for the remainder of the day. They hope to reopen tomorrow morning if all of the repairs are made here today. The employees that work here were actually evacuated around 9 o'clock this morning, and just about 40 minutes ago, they were told they can go home for the day. scg &E did escort some people in back inside who needed to grab some of their personal belongings. And San Diego fire rescue crews set up a hot zone in the area where that gas leak happened, making sure no one entered. We're told a contractor hit a four inch supply line that was under high pressure in the construction zone, which is near the main entrance, causing that leak. In the last half hour, we've learned that the gas line has been controlled. SCG &E and San Diego fire rescue crews responded to the emergency before 9 a.m. They are still here right now, but they had to let that gas bleed off before the line could be shut off. A battalion chief says none of the animals at the zoo were in any danger, so they were not evacuated. And zoo officials did just tell us that all animals are safe and secure right now. The zoo was not open yet at the time of this leak, so no guests were inside. However, a lot of people were waiting outside, and many employees were already here and had to be evacuated. They waited here, out here for about two hours before they were given the all clear to go home. Again, zoo officials tell us they do plan to reopen by tomorrow morning if all repairs are completed today. We're live at the San Diego Zoo. Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Just the zoo, but other parts of the park affected by the gas leak today. 10 News reporter Jennifer De La Cruz is live outside of the Natural History Museum. And Jennifer, earlier we saw people clearing out of the area. Things seem to have calmed down a bit since then. Yeah, Jared, it certainly seems like they've relaxed some of their efforts. We did have park rangers out here for a while telling everybody there was an emergency closure and to get out. But of course, there are still some people walking around. Park ranger told me, quite frankly, not everybody's listening to what they're telling them. And there are a couple rangers down there you can see that are directing traffic away from one of the entrances. But all of the museums here have been shut down. Initially, this was a partial closure. Everything north of the Prado was shut down. They did have to shut down some of that power. And we've watched a lot of people going up to the museums here, especially the natural history museum walking up the steps the doors are closed it's dark inside so many people disappointed and overall a lot of confusion about what is open and whether or not they have to leave the fleet science center was open uh, for a little bit today but about half an hour ago they started clearing that out as well so once again still a couple people walking around here on the prado they have relaxed some of their efforts as far as getting people out of the area but the park ranger did tell me that the museums and the park will be closed for the rest of the day so they are trying to get people out here as a precaution, the Museum of Natural History on their website says they will be open tomorrow morning. Reporting live from Balboa Park, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News.